Well, as we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, we're a little more than 24 hours away from the USC women playing in the Final Four. That's right. They tip off tomorrow night at 7 against North Carolina State. Our Chandler Mack is in Cleveland, and he caught up with one of the stars of the team. Here in Cleveland in the Gamecocks locker room at the Final Four, being joined by Hollywood Raven Johnson herself. Raven, a lot was made about what happened last year in the Final Four, but now you guys are two wins away from completing that revenge tour that you talked about at the beginning of the season. What all has gone into the team's success this season? Starts with Coach Staley. I mean, like I, like I keep saying, this summer was – it was not easy. Like, it was so hard. I mean, it was nothing but conditioning. We could have thought we was a track team at this point. I mean, Final Four Fridays, Molly, it was hard. I mean, it just started with things like that. And just us, us gelling together, us building chemistry together. You know, we have a new starting five. And I just think we, we, we bought into the process and we trusted coach. We trusted the coaching staff. And I think it's, it played out really good. And you yourself, you've improved your three-point percentage by 11% this year. Describe the work that has gone into that and how gratifying is it for you to prove some of the doubters wrong. I just put, a, put in the reps, put in the work every day, and I'm just seeing, you know, the outcome, and I'm just very happy. I mean, when people say you get in the gym, it, it's, it's the truth. You get, what you, you get what you put in, and I just think, you know, just shooting shots every day in the morning and night, just seeing the ball go through the net and the games, it makes me so happy to know how hard – how hard, how hard my, my process has been, how hard the, the work that I put in is really paying off. My final question for you, going to get to match up against Sanaya Rivers and North Carolina State. Describe that matchup, how excited are you for that, given that Sanaya is a former Gamecock and given that it's a chance to go to the national championship? I love Sanaya Rivers. I mean, I was so... I was so sad when I heard she was in the transfer portal when she was here. Just her, just the way she developed from here, the, what I'm seeing at NC State, I'm so excited for her. Like, the things that she's doing for NC State is big. Like, just her running the point guard spot when she was here, she didn't, she didn't like that spot. Like, she, she didn't want to run the point guard spot, but just her being comfortable in that spot, her getting her teammates better, just putting them in the right positions, I like what I'm seeing. Just her, how she's scoring, she's explosive. She's, she's just been dominant, so I'm very excited for her. But tomorrow, I mean, we're enemies. That's how I look at it. We're enemies. All right, Raven, thank you so much. Reporting here in the Gamecocks locker room at the Final Four, Chandler Mack, News 19, WLTX. All right, Chandler, thank you. Another day and another accolade for Dawn Staley. She was honored today as the Associated Press Women's College Basketball Coach of the Year for the second time. Staley also won this award back in 2020. And it's not all work for the women at the Final Four. The Gamecocks shared these pictures on social media of them at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, having some fun. The museum honors decades of rock and popular music history. And as you can see, it allows people to try their hand at being musicians. Well, former Gamecock star and current forward for the Indiana Fever, Aaliyah Boston, is joining the ESPN Studio broadcast team during this upcoming Women's Final Four in Cleveland. This is Boston's latest broadcasting endeavor following her work as a studio analyst this past season for coverage of the Big Ten Conference. As South Carolina competes for a spot in the national championship game tomorrow, Boston will be able to provide her perspective and analysis as a former player on its 2022 national championship team. And in case you haven't heard this by now, more fans than ever been watching the women's championship this year with Iowa's game against LSU. Setting a viewership record, the Elite Eight matchup is now the most watched women's college basketball game in history. More than 12 million people watched it. The previous record was set back in 1983. And the experts tonight predicting a potential USC versus Iowa national championship game could break new records. Or set new records, I should say. And be sure to tune in tonight for a Gamecocks Final Four special. Our sports director, Reggie Anderson, along with Chandler Mack, who you saw in Cleveland a few moments ago, they're going to present undefeated, a Gamecocks dynasty. Again, that's coming up in less than two hours at 7 o'clock tonight, right here on News 19.